in a class if there is a concept and if even a single student is finding it difficult to uh, understand they would explain it infinite number of times finding out what to learn would be easy you just have to uh, understand your interest and pick up one field and go into that field the main thing is never compare yourself with others it is like the first teacher be it a parent or a school teacher who taught you to walk that it would be for me because uh, till then i was kind of stagnant with my career i was just sitting there in the technology in which i was not very interested in but being in aq job it taught me to move forward with my career into a field in which i was interested in Good afternoon everyone welcome to the Accuser of YouTube channel my name is Mrinal Kamboj today we have a very amazing guest with us named Suchita Suchita completed her graduation in 2020 in BTech in electronics and telecommunication after completing her graduation she worked with Cognizant for 2 years she joined Accuser of in January and now she has been placed in Nagaro as a front end developer so let's welcome Suchita and know more about her journey welcome Suchita Good afternoon. Thank you for having me here. We are very happy to see you here and first of all congratulations on getting placed in Nagaro. Thank you so much. Right. So I'll start the interview by asking you, can you tell us something about your background? Sure. So I come from Odisha, Sambalpur, Sambalpur district. Um I did my BTech in electronics and telecommunication i completed BTech in 2020 from vss ut bulla so actually from my uh, college time during the four years i was a part of the robotic society of the college so mm-hmm. from that time i had interest in coding and um, technical stuff i used to learn java python um, during college time and then after that uh, during placements i was placed in uh, tcs infosys and cognizant and i was kind of in a dilemma which one to join and then 2020 pandemic time came and um, we thought that the companies would not be taking us because of the pandemic but um, fortunately cognizant came that time and i joined cognizant so uh, this july it, i would complete i'll complete 2 years in cognizant and then i joined uh, started uh, learning from aq job uh, this january and then uh, as a front end engineer i got placed in nagaro in may so i would be joining it in july you know you were working in cognizant then how this how did you got to know about acquisition yes um so after joining cognizant like you know the normal working hours it's 10 hours of the day so i did not have much time or thought of doing anything else or learning a entirely different thing like in um in cognizant i am working with a different tech stack and uh, aq job with the front end java and all is a different uh, tech stack so one of my cousin brothers he was learning from aq job he joined aq mm-hmm. job last year and from there he got placed in phenom uh, which is a very good company and as a fresher he got placed there and on his birthday he got placed and i called him and he he motivated me to you know again start learning and um explore new fields explore new tech stacks and he told me that ak job is an amazing platform and he was able to learn everything right from scratch to the advanced level so it helped him out a lot and i should just give it a try he just told me that take the demo sessions if you don't like it drop it just take it i took the demo sessions gave the interview and just went into it so so chitra i want to ask you now how did you find the placement process of ak job like so uh, first uh, the process started with uh, learning uh, dsa when we were completed with dsa from basic to advanced level after that only company started uh, coming you know we were uh, notified of the placement opportunities and companies and all and then after that i was not very good with dsa you can say uh, so i could not get anything that time and then after that front end started and after front end i got really interested and involved in front end and i felt that this is the field i want to further my career in and after the front end the companies which came they they were demanding for front end engineers and then i after completing the front end i applied as a front end developer got it and you got placed in nagaro yes correct So, so Chita, I want to ask you this: How was your experience like with the mentors? Mine was a situation like it. It was not the first time that I was studying DSA. I had attempted DSA around a year back, but I was really not able to 
understand stuff and grab the concept so i just dropped it and then i started html css could not understand the concepts dropped it and then when i started aq job they really taught us in such a good manner like in a class if there is a concept and if even a single student is finding it difficult to uh, understand they would explain it infinite number of times and you know you will you'll understand and remember the concepts in the class itself you really don't have to uh, watch rewatch the videos and i was not in the live class i used to watch the recording sessions and even the recording sessions helped me so much that i was able to understand the concepts of dsn um, progress from uh, beginner to intermediate to advanced level and then dsa started and there were um, lectures and then doubt sessions project building sessions and everything help was so well planned that there was no place for doubt even if i w- i was watching recording sessions i did not have the opportunity to ask doubts then and there still i did not face or did not even think for once that you know this is an advantage a disadvantage at how much did hr and technical mock interviews help you in your final placement because now when i'm talking to a lot of students they're always very hesitant of taking mocks right yeah so can you tell us something from your experience how much did they help you like after cognizant after my college time i never sat for another interview never appeared for another interview and mm-hmm. i did not have an idea that how product based or high you know high end companies take the interviews like how yeah. technically they take so i had no idea of that and uh, after learning dsa uh, my mentor he uh, suggested me that i give a mock interview and earlier uh, the entire batch was given slots to appear for mock interviews and when i took the interview i got to understand how to interact with the interviewer if the interviewer has given you a question if you don't understand the questions how you can ask you are allowed to ask the questions if in between you are stuck somewhere you are allowed to ask the interviewer for some hints and how you should think out loud do not think do not keep mum and think within yourself think out loud so that the interviewer knows what you are thinking these all things i got to learn in the mock interview if i was not if i had not appeared for any technical mock interview i would not have been able to clear any technical interview for company really so that was a blessing for me and i understand the importance for it and regarding the hr interview i like i have a okay communication skill but mm-hmm. i did not have the knowledge of how to answer interview questions uh, in a proper way hr questions right. and mm-hmm. because since i already had an experience of 2 years with the company so i was uh, asked questions like why do you want to change your company why do you want to change your field like previously in cognizant i work i worked with another tech stack whole together right. so those questions how to answer them properly how to present yourself to the interviewer so that they think that you are the proper um, candidate they want so that right. all stuff uh, hr technique uh, mock hr interview helped me with that the interviewer mock hr interviewer he helped me out everything like chart out how to uh, introduce myself to the interviewer how to present right. myself to the interviewer how to answer each and every question each diplomatic question um something mm-hmm. where the interviewer want to trap you <laughs> everything so they really yeah. helped me out and it was a blessing that the day when i had technical uh, hr interview with nagaru just a day before i had hr mock interview with ak job and if that was not there i would not be here in nagaru right now <laughs> please go for mock interviews do not be hesitant um, like these are mock interviews uh, you know these are not the real ones so even if you are making some mistakes so the interviewers your mentors will uh, fix that so it's yeah. good if you have an before and experience uh, then sitting in a real interview and making those mistakes yeah can you give us like details about your selection process in nagaru yes sure so uh, first round was um, you can say kind of written round um, there were dsa questions in javascript three dsa questions of javascript and then uh, quantitative aptitude questions english questions so first round was this and then after i cleared this round there were two technical rounds um, okay. so in the technical rounds they asked me 
all the basics right from html css bootstrap javascript react redux everything they really did not leave any technology of front end okay. and then um in the second uh, after this first one this first was to just you know understand how much uh, the the how much the other person is strong with the basics of the technology and then in the second one um the second one was kind of a practical one they asked me to make a react application from scratch and then they asked some advanced questions on html css javascript and react and after i cleared that one um there was the uh, hr round the general hr questions <laughs> why you are changing the company why you want to change your technology what interested you in the new technology like this so just a you know coming from a non tech background you were, you were an electronics and telecommunication engineer right not someone who studied it earlier was an it engineer earlier how because we get we are so, we have so many students who are coming from non tech fields they're always very scared or skeptic about the fact that can they get into these fields can they crack a tech job so what would you like to tell those students it is like we started learning abc right no one had the knowledge of abc when we were small we started learning it and we learned it and right now we are using it without even thinking about it so it's the same way why do we have to think that we are from uh, non it background and this is a it stuff why do we even need to think about that this is something which we know that it will help us in our career it is required for our career just go for it don't let an it or non it be a barrier for the background it's really very easy and the mentors teach the things in such a good manner like right from a b c to z and they'll explain it and repeat it as many times as you want so yeah. why fear that you won't be able to understand the stuff now you were somebody who was working earlier right and as well as at the same time you were studying with us at act there are so many people who are coming from these uh, you know who are already working professionals right so what would you like to tell them how to manage their time how to do job as well as study um so it first of all it depends on the shift uh, the in the shift they are working like for my shift it was from around 11 11:30 am till 9 9:30 10 pm and that's why i was never able to attend the live classes i always used right. to go through the recordings so i used to wake up at morning around 5 5:30 and then study that time for around an hour and two and then go about my day and during right. the work time um if i have even uh, an hour or two you know in between where i am not doing company work then i would revise something or uh, rewatch a, a video lecture uh, if huh. a point is where if a concept is difficult and i want to you know uh, recap it then i would do that and that way <laughs> i just proceeded right okay so you know before we end this interview i have just two questions for you one is there are students coming in in tech field all the time right they want to make their career in tech and tech is in general is a very booming field right what advice do you want to give to the upcoming students how they should study what they should take care of uh, study is like um, finding out what to study is easy there are there is so much resources on the internet there are so much institutions ek your job would be one of my favorites because it helped me crack my career so uh, finding out what to learn would be easy you just have to uh, understand your interest and pick up one field and go into that field the main thing is never compare yourself with others like if i am cracking an interview with 8.5 then there is a person who cracked it with 6.5 there is a person who cracked it with 48 lpa there is a person who cracked it with 1 crore so understand that everyone has their own journey with their own pace so if someone is getting more than you that shows you that there is a possibility of getting more but don't compare yourselves with others take your field and don't get distracted by other technologies if you are learning java then you'll uh, study on net that uh, python has more uh, demand this has more demand that has more demand don't get distracted by that every technology is in demand that's why that technology exists and it is in the market and you're studying that stick to it and just study don't compare with anyone or don't get distracted by the stuff on internet right got it 
So Jitha, this is like very nice advice, even for me. I understand this point of comparison that we do all the time. We see people getting more packages, better companies. We're always comparing us with others. I'm so glad you gave us this advice. So I have Thank just you. one last question for you. Very simple question. And, you know, people sometimes find, find it very hard as well. So if you have to explain Akijob in one word or in one line, your experience with us, how would you define it? It is like the first teacher, be it a parent or a school teacher who taught you to walk. Okay, that was really nice. I yes, am, I that think. more good for me. Mm-hmm. That it would be for me because uh, till then I was kind of stagnant with my career. I was just sitting there in the technology in which I was not very interested in. But being in AQ job, it taught me to move forward, to walk, run jog move forward with my career into a field in which i was interested in so it is like that teacher who taught me to work so more than anything so i am like i am myself very inspired by those words <laughs> and, and because the, the advices which you have given to us in this interview today are not only you know eligible for the students who are studying with us it's eligible for everyone who's a student who's you know to just very basics important for your life more than anything, I am. We are very proud at AQ that you got Thank placed you. in Nagaro as a front-end developer. We are excited and we are hopes that you achieve great things at this company. We are Thank always so there much. for you. <laughs> yeah. And Thank you. Right, and you know you can reach out to us whenever you want. And thank you so much for giving your time. Thank you so much for having me here. It was um, like you provided me a platform of talk platform for talking and saying whatever i had inside and gave me an opportunity to interact with people i would always be grateful for that thank you Suchita. thank you thank you so much uh, so thank you everyone for watching our interview with Suchita. i hope you like this please like share and let us know in the comment section which part of Suchita's journey inspired you the most and yes have a good day and keep learning